This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. Click the Fight TV link on WrestlingMayhemShow.com to support this show and watch pro wrestling, MMA, boxing, and so much more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash WrestlingMayhemShow. PodCamp Pittsburgh. Learn about podcasting, social media, and so much more. Join us September 30th and October 1st. Find out more at PodCampPittsburgh.com. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show live from the Sorgatron Media Studios in the Beachview neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA, right on the tracks. Watching all those people go home from the Pirates game tonight. But uh, I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter, uh, video producer here in the Pittsburgh, PA region. And thank you for joining us on the 598th, uh, no, the 589th uh, Tuesday 89. and gathering of wrestling uh, fun and fandom and party and a celebration of pro wrestling really with us we got of course on the line from johnstown pa he is bobby f j town i'm back after being rusty there last you week. go that's all right it's all right nobody noticed nobody noticed i mean except for all those people that wrote in but yeah I, i'm sorry everybody I'll, I'll try to be better tonight awesome <laughs> also with us on I'll the try. couch is larry hello our 205 live um, watcher extraordinaire. Are you keeping up with it tonight? Uh, is sure. it uh, you are at least like seeing what's going on or anything like that? Uh, I mean, I'll give you, you an update shortly. I mean, we're going to be talking, I think, a bit 205 tonight. There will be lots of 205. Anyway. Yes. And then also with <clears throat> us, uh, Enzo. Enzo the Shad is with us tonight. How you doing? <laughs> nice hair. Nice hairstyle. Jeez. If I had a dime for every time I was disappointed with Enzo's title reign. I would have zero dimes. If I had a dime for every time, every moment that segment made season? sense last night, I'd have zero dimes. I need to get, I need to get an Instagram <laughs> boomerang of you doing that dance. He's hulking out. <laughs> um, of course, it's hard to do when you're sitting. He's doing something. He's definitely doing something. Um, but anyways, uh, by the way, do that dance one more time for me. Hold on, hold on. There you go. All right. Um. We we did have a guest uh, that was supposed to be here. The Rev Ronell Hunt was supposed to be a, a part of the show tonight. I'm sorry, this boomerang is the best ever. <laughs> but anyways, he's supposed to be here. I shouldn't be laughing because there's something really bad happening. Uh, the Rev was actually down in West Virginia um, on a on a on the set of a Stephen King film uh, that I guess he's a part of, and uh, I guess he's uh, I don't know uh, clowning around, I suppose. And uh, he, he's on his way back, plenty of time to get here. And then all of a sudden it's like, hey, um, so there's a problem on I-70 well outside of Pittsburgh here on the way. And he sends a picture. And yeah, there's a truck on fire in I-70. Tra- tra- tractor trailer is completely on fire. Or as we like to say, um, just getting Bray Wyatt. Uh, so... So he's out there with the rest of the fireflies, um, and, and, and you know, just just yeah, out that's... there, just out there right now. Uh, so uh, thank you. So he's joining us on on, on actually the Facebook chat. Uh, so thanks for for dropping us in, uh, and, and 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 we'll get you back on. I mean, things happen, but I mean, uh, that's crazy. That is the craziest reason for somebody not to have made it to a show so far. Yeah, if you didn't want to come, you could have fake sick. You yeah, you could have. You didn't have to. Light a have to trailer no, there. no, I, absolutely. You definitely didn't need to do that. But anyway, appreciate the dedication. Though. No, <laughs> yes, absolutely. But anyways, this is your Wrestling Mayhem Show. You can check us out at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. You can drop us a line at the email address. Good times. Good times. Good times. Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. You can also hit us up at 412-206-WMS0 is the hotline. Put in your phone, call us drunk after you're really pissed about how no mercy went, maybe. Uh, also hit us up on Twitter at Mayhem Show, Wrestling Mayhem Show on the Facebook page, the great Facebook group where we chat about a lot of wrestling for Wrestling Mayhem Show. Larry's laughing at something over there. Um, and also please subscribe to us on iTunes, Sister Spreaker, and Google Play Podcast and video versions of the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook and YouTube page. And uh, 
uh, thanks to our streaming partners, uh, the405media.com, for carrying us over there. And please go uh, support us on Patreon. We have a lot of supporters. Thank you so much for supporting the show. Uh, my tale of literally keeping the lights on here in the new studio. Uh, thank you to, to our supporters at the fan of the show dollar level. Bo diggity! Woo! Woo! Ed Burke. We have your ice cream scoop hostage at the studio, Ed Burke. Alex Cars, Power to the Smarks, Occupy Pro Wrestling. And Bobby F. J. Town, also at the five dollar box, <laughs> the five dollar Pocky Club. Tina Keys out there on the West Coast. Christopher Bishop, and at the Pizza Club, ten dollar level is Billy F. N. Johnson. That gets the uh, state of the show. You get gold at the five dollar Pocky level. Which, if the audio worked on it, is going to be Bobby t- uh, unboxing some diecast uh, figures. Uh, which was pretty great. And uh, you guys can support us, can support us too at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Also, as with last week, I realized I just re- realized I didn't do this on awesome cast. Uh, you can support our friend of the show, uh, Brandon out there. Mm-hmm. He's going to be part of the, um, the special Olympics uh, as a, on a, on a bowling team, actually. And uh, they even were, though he beat me in fantasy football, even this week. though he's definitely <laughs> beating him at fantasy football, it's cool. it's but fun. go over there. You can donate uh, to help him uh, in his endeavor there. Uh, Brandon Minot over there. Uh, so uh, please go mayhem nation. Go support a great cause here. Uh, uh, get our, get our guy out to the special Olympics, help him out. Uh, the mayhem family is family. And we make sure we support each other. So let's get into the wrestling chat this week. And and Chad, Chad, Chad Amore, uh, <laughs> he's doing the dance. He's doing the dance. If you're on audio, <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh man, I need to I need to put that on the Instagram. Uh, but anyways, so so <laughs> I I think we should ask you first. So there's we we talked a lot on the wrap up last night about Enzo, uh-huh. and As Enzo's you and Enzo's kind of a hot topic now uh, with. You know, being in the Enzo main. Looks like he's a hot topic. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> being that he's he's on the main event, he's on the main event of Raw. He's doing he's doing Enzo things there. Um, <laughs> but uh, what what do you think about what's happening with Enzo and the cruiserweights these days? It's great. It's great. I think it's great. You think it's great? Yeah. Thank you. You know why? Yes. Uh, it's because it, it makes everybody angry. Uh huh. And they can. Focus, I was very angry. They can focus all their hate on Enzo, which mm. is exactly what two hundred five needed. Mm. Because yeah, I'll, I'll give you that. Enzo, yeah. whether you like it or not, dropped some truth mm-hmm. during that last segment last mm-hmm. night, and uh, him being, I think it was a good move to give him the title. I don't care what you say about like squashing people or whatever, because everybody's better. Being able to say, "Look at how bad Enzo is," because if if he's taking all the heat and bringing attention to two hundred five to see who beats him or to see who he's going to feud with and put down and see who's going to finally get up over him, that's great. That's that's exposure. I think Chase is that's, be that fun. works because he's a champion you can hate, and like mm-hmm. that's cool because the champion that, we deserve. Yeah, because that you're going to boo him. And you're gonna cheer whoever goes against them. You're gonna start caring more about who he's fighting. It, I, I think it's good. You got a lot of options. I, uh, having Neville and all the cruiserweights come out, and him like calling teacup and all that. Like that's that's that, good. That's good. It was interesting. I I could have swore they were setting up for a lumberjack match hmm. for tonight. Like for, I would have no, put right. my money on it. Um. And it was it's funny because it, it automatically turned the rest of the division into baby faces, even Neville. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. it's like there are no more bad guys on two two. And line. that's a good point. And Matt Carlin's <laughs> was, <laughs> and Matt Carlin's was talking about like you know with the devil. Well, that you know, you know, Neville. Neville should, why did Neville do that? Why didn't everybody else get involved? And it's like he was like, yeah, that's that's what a double turn is, right? And not that we haven't really. Um, um, predicted or not predicted, but but telegraphed this kind of turn with Enzo, this attitude change with Enzo um, over the last month. And again, you know, you will, we look at two hundred five lives on on midweek war like individually, and be like, ah, this doesn't make any sense. Why would you do this? Why didn't you do this? And it was like, yeah, because we're getting to this point, yeah, right. And f- and you kind of saw fun. It. it is. It's fun. Uh, I mean, unless, that's pretty cool. Unless you hate it. And then even then, 
What's the last you're thing? Still ha- you're still what's doing the last it. thing you hated in wrestling? It doesn't matter why you hate it, but if you're gonna pay and keep watching to see yeah. it and complain about it, it works. Because you want to see it change. Exactly. Right? Whether you want to see Roman Reigns get it, get beat up, you're gonna go and see, oh, they're really gonna give hey, Roman Reigns this. Two things on SmackDown that we hated for weeks and weeks and weeks finally got their payoffs tonight. What's that? Um, the Nakamura um, being made fun of by Jinder and uh, the Singh brothers. Mm-hmm. Uh, Shinsuke came out and, and beat him up. Give him the Kinshasa. Yeah. And uh, then Dolph Ziggler finally got the payoff okay. with Bobby Roode coming out. Yes. I'm looking Which forward to we one. were waiting weeks for that to happen. It, it was kind of like, what is the point? Like, this better have yes. a good payoff. Yeah. And it's yeah. come to this. Okay, now I'm into it. Now I know why you're having us suffer because you want us to hate hate Dolph Ziggler so freaking much. So what did mm. you do? You took away the thing that we loved about Dolph Ziggler, which was him wrestling. Mm-hmm. Think about it, right? That was the only, no, I, only redeeming quality he had. For like he has time. great matches. He works his ass off in there. Let's him let him do everything but that thing we love him for, so we can I start love hating him. Yeah. I love Dolph for his creepy cricket commercials. <laughs> he he does. How about some bandwidth, baby? <laughs> You're yeah. on fire. Oh no! Weird. It was terrible. It was weird. So <laughs> you need more certified dancing. G. Certified G. <laughs> exactly. Um, but anyways, uh, so I mean that's the Enzo thing, and we'll see what's coming. I mean, 205 Live, of course, is 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 being broadcast right now live. Yeah. Hence the name. So it is. With, what? Now, does uh, oh. With with Neville, I'm missing uh, it. Oh my god! With Neville losing his right to a title match, does he leave to a five live? Could he do some great things over on mm. SmackDown? Maybe does he? Because mm-hmm. he's, I mean, realistically, he's the same size as Finn. <laughs> mm-hmm. Just about my planet needs me. I must so, go. Like... I will be very disappointed if he <laughs> takes him off to a five live. Yeah, yeah, I believe, I believe uh, he still has some work to do there, mm-hmm. but. Uh, without this title match, uh, you, you you can work around it and do some stuff. But uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. does he leave for a little bit and and do something else for a tiny little bit and come back? I think I I, I like seeing him come over. Let's have him come over to SmackDown and do some stuff. Let's Why not? Even if he tags for a little bit with somebody or mm-hmm. something. Mm-hmm. I can't see him tagging. I don't know. No, no way. They they made him a I... really hot singles guy right now. Mm-hmm. True. True. I don't. Yeah. And I don't think Let he's done just... with that. I don't think he's done with no. that. Sorry, Bobby. No. Let me just say the best Neville is sleep deprivation Neville. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When he loses the title and just comes out looking like a zombie. Even even last <laughs> night, even last night, right, Bobby? Because he mm-hmm. was he was like he, hunched oh, he over like he not... and just just he looked like he was but he was carrying a whiskey bottle all yes. night. Long yes, he was and did yeah. not sleep. He looked like the, the best the the best sleep uh, deprivation deprivation Neville though was on Takeover. The night after he lost to Tozawa, or like the week after he lost to Tozawa, mm-hmm. he was like he was like um, like Pearl Jam grunge sleep deprivation <laughs> Neville. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He, yep. He had like the 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 uh, you know flannel uh, attire on and with the, the like the nerd glasses, mm-hmm. and he just looked like he just hadn't slept in a week. It was awesome. <laughs> great stuff great stuff uh but you know kind of leaning into that you know we talked about enzo and he's like just dropping fire and truth fire you know a bit on there and and doesn't it seem like uh, you know i was speculating last night on on the wrap-up that there's you know we we have these these pay-per-views where like oh man everybody's freaking turning it up last you know tonight you know is 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 something somebody you know give a pep talk or something right and it feels like that's happening with the promos because everybody is just jabbing the knife, you know, with the Roman Reigns and Cena, you know, with the Enzo thing. And you're just like, you know, with, uh, you know, things with Kevin, Kevin Owens, Owens tonight. You yeah. know, they're just like, yeah. hey, play it pretty close. Like, keep, you know, you're talking about keeping your punches snug in the ring. Keep your your jabs on the mic close, too. Not, and, not and since Nikki. I feel like they got rid of some writers and are making it more PG thirteen now. Yeah, well, I feel like <laughs> yeah. we've had this Which point for awesome. a while. Even that jab that Mickey took on, on Alexa last night. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Not you, since Nikki the, the training bra, the training jab. bra stuff, and yeah. even it yeah. looked like it caught Alexa. Actually, like she was. Oh, oh, 
That was oh, we're, a, that was oh, we're gonna go there, huh? I mean, nobody's <laughs> dropping like you, I, bitch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you didn't tell me you were gonna do. Oh, whoa. Yeah, whoa, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was yeah. Not part of the plan. I didn't know. No, I but I mean, this up. these are all professionals, and this is what they do. Like I think people forget this is what they do. Oh man, yeah. there must be some heat. They took that personal, didn't they? And it's just like I'm sure they guys, laughed at it. Yeah, right? yeah. We're like, oh, you know, yeah. you can't do this and and be. You know, take those things personally. I feel at this point. Yeah, I was gonna say not since Nikki wished Bree died in the womb. Since <laughs> has it been this controversial? Oh. Oh, <laughs> I yes. wish you died in the womb. Oh crap! <laughs> what? What? This is completely unrelated to wrestling. Okay. You know that duck incense burner I was talking about? <laughs> I accidentally hit the button. I'm interested, and I and the lady messaged me back. Thanks oh, for no. letting me know if you. Thanks. Let me know if you have any questions. I found it at an antique store in California. Right, ask, her, right. ask her what kind of duck it is. Is it a yeah, mallard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or... And whatever she says, it says, oh, wrong kind. I'm not interested. Be like, Sorry. Is it more swan-like? Yeah, uh, yeah. This is what, not swan-like. Well, what kind of... Kind of duck are we looking? At I'm here? sorry, I thought it was sorry, a swan. We're, we're 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 on a tangent. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, somebody's Missy. somebody's addicted to the, the Facebook marketplace. Apparently. Did you buy there ducks are pics. on there? I have pics of them. No, no, pics of her. That's... Actually, no, just type ASL. <laughs> that thing we were doing that you didn't understand in, in chat the other night. I don't remember what From we like about. AOL. No. Nope, no. Okay. Ask her right, ask sorry. her for <laughs> duck face photos. <laughs> like, can I get a can you send me a picture of that duck's face? Let me see that. <laughs> I want to know what I'm getting into. Yeah, I want to know what I'm really getting into here. Yeah, yeah. What are we before we kind of dedicate this whole situation? Like, holy crap, sixty dollars! I'm not spending sixty dollars. Hey, ask her to put it on your bill. Can, can I start a tab? Do you t- do you take payments? Will you accept yeah. giant Ducks eagle gift bills? cards? <laughs> yes, yes. Listen, I got a, I got like a fifty dollar GameStop card. Will you accept that? <laughs> I'll trade you a rabbit incense burner for okay. a duck incense burner. <laughs> do you accept? Do you accept X- Xbox Gold? Uh, I'll just give you a month. Do you oh, take Bitcoin? Um, anyways, what percentage of Bitcoin would that be? Um, That'd be like a million dollars for a duck. There was a pretty <laughs> amazing thing that happened last night. Um, one of them being Cody Rose reciting the entirety of the speech from Independence Day. That was amazing. <laughs> that was oh, great. That was amazing. Something. That was great. And I'm going to try to pull up the uh, YouTube here. But basically, um, the the Bullet Club, Cody Rose, the Young Bucks, um, the Hangman, whatever, and Marty Squirrel, um, um, were were apparently in the same town. I, I forget some town in California oh, yeah. as uh, as as uh, Raw last night. Um, uh, from what I understand, they were doing a promotional stop uh, at a Hot Topic because Bullet Club uh, shirts are a Hot Topic. And by the way, it's apparently hard to find them. They're selling out pretty well they're, at Hot Topic. Second mention hot, of Hot Topic. Hot, Come on, hot Topic at Hot Topic. Um, but oof, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I'm buy sorry. my pops at Hot Topic. Oof. Um, I get my yayas at IKEA. It's Bobby. a friend's joke. Oh, Bobby. Oh, Bobby. It's a friend's joke. Cup of hater. Uh, but <laughs> Cup of haters. So they go, and apparently, and there's an yeah. there's a video, there's a uh, episode of um, um, Edge of the Elite, I think, is their video series mm-hmm. uh, for for the Bullet Club, and it, and it has being the elite. What's that? Being the elite. Being the the elite. Uh, let's yeah. see. Bull Club invades Raw. I'll throw up some footage here. Um, cool, cool web series they do. Of course, you know they filmed a lot of the things happening. And apparently, it was uh, Marty. Marty has had apparently recently watched the the the, the Degeneration X DVD, <laughs> and that's why. And they kind of recreated a few of the scenes hmm. from the infamous WCW DX invasion. Um, and yes, it's uh, Bull Club invade Raw, being the elite episode seventy three. Um, this is for real, guys, and uh, they 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 were were demanding the return of Cody's last name. Yeah. They uh, showed up. <laughs> that was really funny. <laughs> that was hilarious. Um, they let's see if this video. They wanted to do the crotch chop. They wanted to do the crotch chop. They uh they they they, they had to bleep out suck it because yeah. Oh, well, they they've been doing that. Yeah. Okay. Um, also, also they were trying to get revenge for for uh, WWE kidnapping. 
Hangman pay, hang, Hangman Page and and forcing him to watch net, the network. <laughs> oh, with his eyes opened with like band aids or something. Mm-hmm. That explains it. That that actually explains why why they kind of went this direction with it. Um, but uh, yeah, no, it's it's pretty incredible. Um, it, it, you know, a fun thing that they got to do, and and uh, and of course, please please free our friends, Finn and yeah. uh luke gallows are you in there and <laughs> they like megaphones yeah yeah it's, it's amazing so go watch that but i mean this is this is this is a pretty cool thing and and, and also makes you think like like you know i was getting towards the end i was like yeah so cody Rhodes is completely going to invade at the end of this raw right because we didn't really know you know because yeah. you, you kind of like what well, was this enzo thing tomorrow night on 205 live and uh we knew this was happening on the outside and uh and, and Ring of Honor has this really interesting relationship. I just put my coffee on my phone, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah he yeah. just watched me do yeah. that. Yep. All right. We're just nice put that over there. All right. That's so just Cups a hater. It's just <laughs> that cups a hater. <laughs> Cup of haters. <laughs> um anyways. Uh but I don't know. What did you guys think of this? Were you following this last night or did you catch it afterwards? I did catch it. Like I caught it mid afternoon, like when it was happening. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, so what's going on? And nobody had any news. Like, I'm like, well, I, I rarely do this. But I was like, let me just jump around some wrestling websites and see if anybody has any info, like a lead or something. You know, sometimes you can find those like mm-hmm. so-and-so's meeting and this is what they're doing. But all I could find was the Twitter hashtag and the videos popping up on Twitter. And that was it. So, and I was like, no, huh. I, I was like, I don't know if like, Somebody had like a meeting today and they're just there out there filming and then they're going to meet with so and so later, mm. you know, to do weird stuff or whatever they do. But no, no one had any like info. They weren't even reporting on it. It was just, I guess I caught it like at the moment it was happening. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then I, I, I forgot about it <laughs> in between then and Raw. So I didn't check up on it. Yeah. Until, like, yeah. Raw see happened. if anything happened. Well, and again, too, I wanted, I was like, well, I know it's happening. So I'll just go into Raw blind and I won't even look it up while Raw's happening. I'll just mm-hmm. organically watch Raw and see if, if something happens. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But, I mean, there was a two sweet chant during Finn's match. So that was probably yeah. a lot of those fans and, that were uh, definitely riled up over Bull Club uh, going into it. Uh, Rhodes and former bullet club member did wrestle Mm -hmm. so Mm -hmm. it was it was gold dust yeah (laughs) yeah finn balor but um that was fun they did did wrestle and he did come out as dusty Rhodes last week or dustin Rhodes last week so yeah yeah Yeah, absolutely i thought that was fun that was a fun little little thing whether it was going to happen Mm -hmm. or not that was pretty cool i was it was cool to see just gold dust and finn going and and I know Goldberg's, there's some Gold Dust is just weird. He hasn't lost that weirdness. He, well, yeah, he brought it back. I feel like that like, but he also hasn't. He's like he, you know, watching Gold Dust in his you know in his prime prime Gold Dust. Let's say yeah. not prime Dustin Rhodes, right? And right. he just like he that was seven. Yeah. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> what was his? What was his, his uh, TNA name? one with yeah, the rat? Bla- yeah, was it black yeah. something? Black rain, I think black it was. Rain. Which black is funny rain. because that was like a yarder that we knew back in the day too. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's it, but, but yeah, he's he's faster. He's in better shape. You know, he's he's just way better than he ever was. Even when he was like in front of probably more eyeballs than than at any, any other point. Doing, right. the, doing, you know, making a name for himself there. So I, right. I don't know. It, it, it's just kind of interesting to look at. So he can still go. I, mm-hmm. He's like, he's similar to Kane. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. I can't wait to see what office he runs for. By the oh way, speaking of Kane, that's a good point. I, I did want to remember to bring this up. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I, I said Big Showberfest was happening in Knoxville, mm-hmm. Tennessee, mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> as a. <laughs> <laughs> Big are you are you dancing at the train yeah you're tra- as, <laughs> as the subway is going by you're dancing at it yeah, that's, that's awesome ex- that's, that's perfect i can't i i just i'm just trying waiting. they're on a train though yeah there's a conductor though yeah but yeah wait what's the argument he said know. that's how accidents happen <laughs> Yeah, oh, yeah, okay, it's feasible. No, what's like, really scary what? is when they're going through here on the road and they're coming up this part here 
and and you just see the conductor just like with his arms out like <laughs> you're just like well i guess he doesn't have to steer but still like th- that's disconcerting <laughs> that's to me it's bigger than anything <laughs> that f- drives up here nah man things on tracks <laughs> <laughs> only go well, one direction well, man no hands. <laughs> What am I going to do? Turn yeah. this around? You know, I drive this <laughs> forward. Yeah, that's it. I will turn this train around. That's it. <laughs> Ain't no stops coming up. Uh, Stop. Hotel. Walk to the other end. Uh, <laughs> anyways, I'm so sorry, chat room. Big, uh, big show. That's what Dina's saying. Yes. DDP, DDP Yoga helped Gold Dust. Um, helped yeah, Jerica. absolutely. Helped Jerica. <laughs> helped everybody. <laughs> I thought you were going to say that helped the train conductor turn the train around. <laughs> he's doing, he's doing the DDP yoga on the train. <laughs> on the it's train. the new like, policy at the Port Authority. He's like, and Diamond Cutter. Really it's bad. bad. <laughs> and Hulk it out. Zombie. <laughs> Zombie Neville was engaging, says, says Tina. Oh, <laughs> so great. Uh, anyways. Um. I don't have any segue other than that. I have DDP uh, yoga. Yeah, yeah, I got a copy too. Segue. Get it on. I was thinking about we should do some DDP yoga mornings here uh, in the studio. I mean, kind of makes sense. Speak, speak yeah. for yourself, Sword. But, I mean, Bob, Bobby, you can join us over over Skype. It was a, hey, at one point I was helping somebody uh, set up a, a yoga practice over Skype. Hey. I was Skyping. I was their guinea yoga pig. Skyping. That was my first yoga sessions. Was over Skype with the instructor. You get one dime. One dime for you. There you go. Now there you, you go. have one. I dime. got paid in free yoga sessions. Hey, over Skype. Why not? Nothing so, wrong with that. I'm so no. I haven't done yoga in like two years. It sounds like an IKEA product. Yoga Skype. <laughs> <laughs> it also has wireless charging. Um. Anyways, <laughs> no mercy. I thought we were talking about Showtober Bake Fest. Oh no, I didn't finish that. You're right. <laughs> Controversy <laughs> over sh- Big Showber Fest. No, <laughs> no, Showber no. Fest. Controversy big creates show, votes. Big Show cannot make Big Showberfest. Oh. Then why in the hell is it called Big Showberfest? It's not anymore, Bobby. It's been renamed. Wow. Swerve. It's been renamed. It's called Swerve City now. To Yes, Yes, Yes Fest. <laughs> <laughs> that Glenn Jacobs, man, he can really turn out some catchphrases. Yes. Man. I wonder if they'll have the anger management doctor there. Oh, that'd be. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Shelby. <laughs> Dr. Shelby's going to be there. I think I'm taking a trip to Knoxville. <laughs> That's great. Got to get this guy yeah, voted in office. I got to go down. There you go. Um, Seth Coulter's doing the booking. Oh, They're just going <laughs> to yell back and forth, I'm the mayor. I'm yeah. the mayor. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> but yes, uh, uh, Big Show couldn't make it. Got replaced by Daniel Bryan is going to be showing up for this thing. So I just want to update oh God, you guys. You do you imagine tag team mayors? No, oh, jeez. Yeah. The they co- tag in and out. The oh. co-mayor <laughs> parking dispute. Hey, tag Damn. me in, buddy. I'm good with those. <laughs> All right. I mean, I'll take care of this. There you go. There Head you to go. the courthouse today. Got to intimidate. That's Kane's job. I'll be there. He has got to be the most intimidating public official. Yeah. Like, is he more intimidating than Arnold Schwarzenegger? You think? <sighs> I mean, probably i mean it's just i mean he's bigger than arnold like i mean yeah. you know i mean uh, you know arnold's buff you know and he's like does he come in with the mask <laughs> like I, I, you can't imagine just, no 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 he's just wearing the business the business like, suit with like, the mask. he just like comes in the business slacks Sorry, is he just I'm wearing late. the business slacks and nothing else <laughs> You're like, this is going to be a tough meeting. Got to break out the uh, voice box. Yeah, the voice. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. I'm late. <laughs> Sorry, I, I was screaming at the local football game. I would like to point you to section 1.43 <laughs> of the local code. Oh, also, suck it. <laughs> Let's do a mean Hulk Hogan impression. Voice too. box drop. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> Oh, oh my geez. god. Oh my god. If Kane would run for president and his running mate would be Danny Bandana. Danny Bandana. <laughs> I, Danny Bandana. I say, like, Danny Bandana <laughs> got caught up in the flag controversy this week. <laughs> oh no. Oh man, the flag was backwards. He's wearing apparel. Oh, oh. no. Rene Beret. Well, I mean, you know, he's practically Canadian, so. Um, yeah. What's up, Tina? Uh, but, anyways. <laughs> Um, no mercy, no, <laughs> no mercy. mercy, none of it, none of it, none of, <laughs> none of the mercy. There's no mercy. None of the mercy. <laughs> now I know you didn't catch all of it, 
I did not. I caught the matches that mattered, though. Which one of those? I caught... Uh, Enzo's uh, title win. The title win. <laughs> <laughs> I caught Cena and Reigns. And I caught the two ham hocks going at it. Mmm, food is a ham! I had a mouth for <laughs> Two giant Robbie. pieces of ham. There you go. What do you think of that one? It was, was more it, like pulled pork. It was good. It was good. <laughs> I was hoping for I was hoping for a Braun win, but mm-hmm, mm-hmm. did you did you mark out when uh, Braun was tearing blood at one yeah. point early in the what match? was that? <laughs> Jeez, that was good. Jeez, um, but anyways, it, it, it was, it, and that means you didn't catch the Cesaro thing. No, 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 no. I did catch. You that. did, you did, did catch, catch that. Team. Yeah, that was hard to watch. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I tweeted out. Did you guys hear what actually happened to his teeth? Uh, update yeah. us for those that don't know. Um, okay, last night I I, I tweeted out. Um, it was from I think Pro Wrestling Sheet. They said that his two front teeth were shoved up into the, his upper jaw, like two two to four millimeters. Oh, yeah. And he finished the match at the caliber that he finished the match. I thought like, they were. That's amazing. Him out. I, I tweeted out. I, I tweeted out that like you know, I was like you know it's fake right in quotes, and I got like fifty some retweets of that. Like I couldn't believe it, but I mean, it, it was like superhuman. I mean, mm. he needs to be more than a tag team wrestler. The Swiss yeah. cyborg, absolutely. The, bring back the hardcore title. He'll yeah. come back. Though. No, I think he'll he come back looking him, like man. Jaws from. Uh, Oh, oh my god! Seven. That be would be amazing. Fighting the rope, like. <sighs> but um, yeah, that that's that's pretty crazy. Because at first, the first picture I saw was him, was like him, and I, I thought he chipped them. Yeah, I thought like, they. I thought he. Yeah, yeah. I thought he chipped. I thought he yeah, chipped I thought he broke and chipped them. Hmm. No. No, they all nope. pushed up. Mm. So he has retractable yeah. teeth now. <laughs> that must be nice. <laughs> Oh, his burger's too big. Hang on. Oh, there we go. (laughs) He's like a snake now. That's two extra millimeters. Sure do count Mm -hmm. extra now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Helpful. This has been happening in the pay-per-views a lot. Like, like, there's been a lot of injuries and blood and, like, and again, I think it's back to that. Like, they are, like, we are pulling out all the stops for the pay-per-view. Yeah. Like, and you... People just going for it. Yeah, yeah. You watch that, and you watch Raw, and it's like, oh, this is a safe match. You know, this isn't going to be terribly crazy and that, exciting. It's Monday Night Raw. What, you know. Last night, that Ambrose DDT to Strowman on the outside mm-hmm. was crazy. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was, it was loud, and they commented how loud it was, but it looked like Strowman, like, he planted him ringside. <laughs> just that DDT outside the ring planted him. Oh. Damn. <laughs> it's a Monday Night Raw. You guys don't have to, like... Oh, but that man. needs to Don't happen. I think go it, for it. that needs to happen every once in a while, right? On a Raw, because you need again. It's a juggle. It's a juggle of we can't do this every week, but it's Monday Night Raw. There needs to be some surprises. Yeah. Right. And there needs to be something like that 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 kind of sticks out. And I think we are really, really, really worn down with Raw, especially. And the matches that they put on there, and the the predictability of like, yeah, we're leaning to such and such, but we're gonna watch yeah. anyways. Um, so I don't know what the answer is for that, you know, to keep it compelling. Yeah, I, bring back the dartboard. <laughs> dartboard. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, jeez. I, I thought like the Ambrose uh, Strowman thing was interesting. Mm-hmm. And now we're getting Seth and Strowman next week. Good. I, I I don't know where it's going, but okay. By the way, it just reminds us that Braun's going to just have okay. killer matches with anybody they put in there. Yeah. So Braun can go. Um. No, I think I think it was a uh, it was it was a lot of fun that match. Um, Brock and Braun. I don't know. I expect I don't know why I expect like a little more out of it. You'll yeah. get it in the next one. You you think it, this is this is the second I, one? We, yeah. 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 I think they it, left it open. Yeah. It's the first one on one, right? First one the on one, one was part of the second encounter. He left him laying and stretched it out in, uh, in that uh, four or five way match, four way match. Yeah, four, so at, at SummerSlam, which was amazing. Yeah. Um, I expect the Summer or Survivor Series. Yeah, or TLC. TLC. Well, I, I expect them to 
potentially wait till Survivor Series. That's probably you know how Brock Brock rolls. That's possible. That's possible. And of course, we're we're setting up some interesting. He's a prize fighter. He's of course we're we're setting up some interesting stuff with some Shield reunion, respectively. Here. Yeah, that's what it's looking like. So, and of course, with the Mistrage, which doesn't seem terribly exciting, but I keep going back to it. Talk about this last night. Maybe, maybe the rest of the Wyatts come back, and we we relive the glory days of of Wyatts and Shield. Because that summer of Shield Evolution, Shield Wyatts was just great yeah. six man tag stuff. How about the Mistrage Shield mm-hmm. Wyatts? <sighs> because buying just. There's three very unique teams. Why not mm-hmm. club? Add club to that mix. Oh. Why not? You just have s- such a strange dynamic of teams. You got a lot of potential going in Survivor Series they could do with this. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, we got, I, obviously, we'll probably have TLC with Finn and Wyatt, which I know everybody out there is yelling, why again? Um, I, th- I really think that's a, I think that's a holder feud. Mm-hmm. I think they want to do something, but they have to wait. For some, you know, like there's a storyline that they want Finn to fight somebody, mm-hmm. but they have to wrap some stuff up. <laughs> so I think that's just like, a, hey, you're just gonna fight Bray for a while. Yeah, yeah, when, we're gonna do some things. We're gonna do some theatrics when we're done um, with that. We'll but, get you where you need to go. We're, right, we'll, we have this, but for now, you two, this is all we have for you. So just kind of, which is kind of what they're doing with has Ambrose and uh, Seth Rollins too. I mean mm-hmm. that top card is stacked right now it is it is so, so it's, like it's something fun to do go play yeah. in the tag division for a while and, yeah. and that's yeah. the way i think about it right Boy, it are they playing <laughs> the tag division is great wanna, on Raw. yeah yeah it's great i want to see shield versus bullet club yes with with finn and gallows and anderson mm-hmm. absolutely now, not, and you think now you think braun and brock maybe they do have a match at tlc and maybe braun wins mm. the stipulation match Mm-hmm. And then, of course, you have these two big guys. You put them in a hell, in, not not hell in the cell, but you put them in something bigger, something. Mm-hmm. Like, I think Brock's uh, keeping the title to WrestleMania, though. Like you, you put them in a cage next, or something else. Mm-hmm. You know, has to be. I think. What, what would you do? A table match? Going to TLC? Why not? Because Braun likes the power could, slam. Or why not just do a TLC Braun likes, match? Braun likes the power yeah. slam. Brock we, through tables. We like to do interesting things, you know. Amber lamps match. I'd like. I'd like to see <laughs> Braun do a, do a shooting star off the top of a ladder. Mm. I, I think. Could you imagine that? I think that like big a, man can fly. That'd be. I a think meter. even just that'd be a meteor. Just Brock and Braun doing a last man standing. Bring back like, the. Bring yeah. back. I'll tell you what. That'd bring back an one. old school sixty minute Iron Man match. Oh, I'd watch them for an hour. Man. I couldn't do that. I can't imagine those. Oh, Brock, Brock would have a heart attack. Like, Brock can't even Brock let, make it go. sixty seconds, not let alone not one hour. hour. Oh, you just reminded me that I completely need to film a sixty minute Iron Man match this Saturday night at one of the wrestling shows. <laughs> Sweet. Oh uh, no, I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> it's it's sixty minutes with two guys. I don't. I don't know. That's not going to be... I mean, Dude, on yeah. my end, it's not going to be fun. <laughs> I mean, anyway, with a Brock, Brock one, you'd just have travel times. Because they would yeah, go yeah. back. So I think you, that's, that's 10 true. minutes to the backstage. 10 minutes to come back out. Um, Tina's saying we need to get a little kid in demon paint singing for that feud with Bray and, uh, and Finn. Oh, He's got cool. the whole world in his hands. Yeah, yeah. I think that... Like just like what happened last night, I'm like, all right, we're that's gonna... some of the best Bray Wyatt stuff mm-hmm. he did mm-hmm. when he had like. What that the problem is, and I said this last night. You know, Undertaker wins because he 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 <laughs> he's doing the dance to people they, walking by the uh-huh. window. <laughs> they need. To, they got zero they dimes, Sorg. <laughs> zero dimes. <laughs> they're they're the S A W F T S W A. I can't spell. Swaft. Swaft. They're swaft. Yeah, they need to swap their ears. <laughs> they need to dress Aiden English up as the demon to sing. He's got the whole world in his hands. Yeah, Aiden English tonight. God. He's got Best. the whole no, no, no. world. Sing it, Bobby. Yeah, yeah it's Bobby. Let's preach it. Step aside, Tony Chimney. Like I said earlier with him and Rusev, I wanted him to sing Welcome to the Jungle. <laughs> Welcome to the Jungle. We've got fun and games. (laughs) Bobby, it's it's amazing. It's Aiden English doing Axl Rose. (laughs) Uh, I can't even remember. Not Curtis Axl. Axl Rose. Best use of Aiden Aiden English tonight with that with with doing the Bulgarian national anthem. Mm -hmm. (laughs) 
questions. And why does why does why does he always have to stand on podiums? What is uh, Rusev? Yes, he's a. It's his thing. I, his action figure came with a podium sword. Oh, he, the the elite figure came with a uh, Russian. He's a national podium. treasure. <laughs> sword. Mm-hmm. Some nation. I thought they were giving him a key to the Big Brother house. He can be on Celebrity Big Brother. <laughs> I thought they were giving him a key to that cardboard time machine the New Day had. Oh, jeez. <laughs> the old day. Let's not bring that back. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, real quick here, because there was there was a lot of conversation about this, so and uh, I'm sure we'll talk about more on the Midweek War as well. But uh, it, just just random shout-outs here. Uh, Brandon saying that Marty Bell and Sienna did a Facebook Live earlier today with uh, NWL um, uh, National, oh geez, National Wrestling League, I think it is. We actually talked to uh, Niles Planke from there. That's going to be in the feed for Indie Mayhem show very soon, uh, as well. Uh, very interesting stuff happening there uh, in, in, in that neighborhood. Um, also, some mentions about Lucha Underground. Uh, first of all, uh, Alex is mentioning that tomorrow night is his match of the year. Sorry. Um, candidate Dante Fox versus Killshot. We've been speculating. We don't know what this match is. I not what did they call it? Jeez, not what is a mass destruction match, but they called it something something insane. And we we, we think we got an inside track that this may be the most incredible match that we're going to see all year in pro wrestling. At, at uh, uh when well, is that airing? I believe this Wednesday. I don't get the chance. So I ch- like tomorrow, like tomorrow, yeah. like t- like technically tomorrow. If you're that's okay, you're Bobby, you can us. you can listen on audiobook the next day. There you go. There you go. Can can, can we all write our local congressman so I can get our Ray Network on my cable I don't package? Know if that's how that works. So I'm gonna. Do I think it. it does. I think it is I'll, how it works. I'll, I'll write my congressman with you. Bobby. Email. Um, <laughs> oh, I think it is. And and he's also saying I don't know. I I have nothing. Oh, it says uh, the post of the stage three stages of hell for uh, uh, th- three stages for the hell of war match um, is, what? is what it is. So and I'm not reading the three stages because I wanted to be surprised myself. Um, and I don't think they've said it on the show itself. Gluttony. Pride. I, I, yeah, she, I think I just said that. Maybe. I don't remember because I'm distracted by that damn hair over there. Uh, but anyways, uh, I see you, Sorg. How's it staying up like that? It's just the magic of Enza. <laughs> if you cut a good promo, your hair stands up. There you go. Even the hair's um, over. I guess there is a video with Kill, Sto- you Kill Shot Experience. hair tonight? Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 <laughs> Certified G. Bonafide stud. Wow. Well, Muscles guys, marinara. we're going to come back with a big question. Uh, in the meantime, please uh, uh, check out our friends at Slice on Broadway, supported Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh Podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Um, our friends at the Scare House were, were down there at PNC Park today. Um, Enzo, tell us about Slice on Broadway. <laughs> I was going to do a real poor Enzo. <laughs> <laughs> the pizza's really good. That's but not that, Enzo, that's bad. Mario. That sounds it's like Borat. <laughs> Oh, a cup, oh, cup of haters. A cup of haters in studio tonight. Bunch cup of haters. I like the pepperoni. <laughs> cup of haters in the studio tonight. Why we, we, I'm why? from Brooklyn. I know pizza. <laughs> Dime sized pepperoni pizza. S W A F T. Couple of slices. Couple of slices. Couple of slices. Couple of slices. Okay. You can check it out. All the locations up the road here at Broadway. The original location, as well as PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Watch out for the zombies. Uh, uh, Down in Carnegie, PA. And the new location coming up in East Liberty. We tweeted the picture, the amazing picture, because Riz didn't know about it and apparently stumbled on it yesterday. Uh, So uh, great to see those guys doing great and expanding. Great to chat with those guys when we're picking up our. uh, our, our pizza for our guests here uh, every Tuesday night. Thank you so much, those guys, for joining us. Check them out, sliceonbroadway.com. It's PGH underscore slice on the Twitter. And they made it into the next round <gasps> for the pizza. Yay! Yeah! So we got to... Sh- we got to show some love for their the pizza burg bracket. That's right. The they're Berg listed. They're listed over on the incline.com. We have inclines in Pittsburgh. That's what it was named after. Also in Johnstown. Also in Johnstown. What? What do we ours got is, here? Ours is longer. Oh, you Cup have an of ramps. Ooh. Cup of slices. Cup of, Cup of inclines. What do we got here? But go to the incline.com, look for the pizza challenge, and vote for Slice on Broadway. 
Uh, we'll be back after this. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. Boy, extra sloppy mayhem show. We are back. And how's you like them extra sloppy? That's right. Extra sloppy <laughs> Bobby F. J-Town. Hey. What? <laughs> what? I thought we were doing a bit here. Oh, okay. I guess so. <laughs> if we must, if we must, and of course Larry is with us with uh, Enzo the Shad. Dance, <laughs> dance, 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 dance. Wow, wow! So look at that. <laughs> He's a pillows up. <laughs> Cup of haters. Cup of haters. Um, Cup but anyway, does. So um, I, I well, first of all, hey, I want to remind everybody we do more than this show. We we do the Indie Mayhem show. A lot of great stuff coming up. You can check that stuff on the live stream. Uh, check out the Midweek War where we talk about Lucha Underground more, 205 Live, uh, uh, NXT, because I can't remember last time we mentioned NXT on this show, uh, as well as the Raw Wrap-Up. And we do those live on, on, on the uh, Facebook Live, of course, uh, the main, the Raw Wrap-Up right after Raw goes off there. And uh, and check out some other things. There's a, there's a guy that looks really familiar doing this thing at uh, sawtoothwilly.com that uh, ended up here in the, in the studio. And I think a lot of you guys would probably... Uh, uh, be interested in that uh, uh, kind of kind of humor going on. Hey, did you do you want to know how a Pittsburgh hobo lives? Go check out fa- sawtoothwilly <laughs> dot com. What, what, you're giving me a look over there. I thought you said a Pittsburgh hobo. No, 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 like, no, 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 like no, 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 Pittsburgh hobo. Pittsburgh hobo would have fries and coleslaw in it, uh, right? right? I mean, of course. Of course. Of course. And pierogies. And pierogies. And there'll yeah. be a pierogi for That'd be like the Twinkie. So, yeah. Uh, that'd be the Pittsburgh Twinkie. <laughs> I looked up that, that New Japan like event I went to. Yeah? You want to know who was on the card, which I apparently didn't oh, realize you, at the you, time? He was talking about this on, on, on gold. So, but... uh, a couple years ago, uh, 2011, mm-hmm. I went to the East Coast, the New Japan Invasion attack on the East Coast. And these are the people who are in the on the card. I'm going to butcher some of these names because they're Japanese and sometimes I don't know how to pronounce it. But uh, it was uh, Tetsuya Nato defeated Hideo Saito. Saito? That that sounds familiar. Uh, Chaos, the team of Gato, Jado, and Shinsuke Nakamura and Yuji Takahashi defeated Charlie Haas, Josh Daniels, Kazakuchi Okada, and Tiger Mask. Holy shit. I I think you pronounced Charlie Haas wrong. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Haas. Haas. That's the, the most Japanese Haas. name I made out of Haas. all of them. Um, for Haas. the JAPW Light Heavyweight Championship, Kenny Omega defeated Jushin Thunder Liger. Jushin Thunder Liger. Uh, Bad Intentions, Giant Bernard, and Carl Anderson. Okay, that's Tina the- was saying his partner was probably Carl Anderson, which, which, which Giant Bernard was Matt Bloom, yep. um, Tensai, uh, uh, Prince Albert, oh, pick yeah. a name. They defeated Dan Math and. Satishi Kojima. Mm-hmm. And for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Championship, Apollo 55, which was Prince Devitt and Raishuki Tagushi. I thought it was Apollo Cruz. Defeated the strong style thugs of Homicide and Low Key. Jeez. Oh, wow. Man. Oh. Hi- Hiroshi Tanashi defeated Davy Richards. Mm-hmm. And MVP defeated Taro Yano. And Togi Makarbe defeated Rhino. Jeez. Was it Tana- Sounds Tana- like a pretty good show. How- it was a great show. Did your hair end up looking like that by the end of the Question. show? Yes. Yeah. Question. Yeah. Uh, I didn't Question. know those people at the time. Like no, obviously, no. like it's hard Question. to but do you remember if Tanahashi did air guitar? I do not know. Might might have, you would know if it have. Would was Okada on that? And there was a lot on that yes. show. Yeah, yeah. But wow. So I mean, like you probably didn't even realize. No. You've because been, I uh, in 2011 I who are these guys I, I yeah it's like New Japan I'm like well there's a lot of really good wrestling in New Japan but I I really don't know who are these guys and now yeah. it's like that's like the WWE I roster saw, I saw who's, the New Japan uh, roster who's who too. Yeah. I saw an NXT version of the who's who yeah so that's always it and that's and why I encourage and everybody Charlie everybody to go to like kind of any indie show especially ones that are like oh this is kind of like good stuff here right. Because yeah. you never know, like I, you know, I there was something recently I was looking at back, um, you know, like like 
you know, looking up some old old Elias's logo Trulo and Johnny Gargano's and things yeah. like that. And and I was just like, holy shit, this match happened. You yeah. know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, things like that. You know, there was a there was a Luke Gallows versus Dalton Castle match in IWC a few years ago. Nobody gave sweet. a crap about that DVD at the time, by the way. No. And now you put that up and people are going to be like, oh, fuck. OK. Yeah, right? Um that's so like Omega that and checklist. Omega and Liger. Were, I remember that match. That match was really good because mm-hmm. I remember leaving that match going, "Man, that guy. What's his name? Kenny Omega. He was great. Mm-hmm. He's gonna like, be somebody. He someday. did some amazing things, like some top rope maneuvers. And just mm-hmm. they had a really. Ma- I remember walking out going, "That was that was a solid match. That was one of my top favorite matches on the card." We do have a request for our big question that we haven't gone to yet. That Chad needs to dance while giving his answer. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> anyways the big question you know we saw roman versus cena some of us uh, i think you, you probably have because i know you you listened to it, the edge and christian interview with john cena beforehand yeah which mm-hmm. really seemed a precursor to everything he talked about afterwards right yeah um talking about his career talking about where he is you know had this match with roman which was just just a great great match um and <laughs> cough button. Uh, but anyways, I'm just so happy at that, you. <laughs> that that's happening. Thank you. Um, but anyways, um, so so this is happening. Um, John Cena had kind of a moment, you know, and it's like, okay, this is the arena where he won the belt at tw- WrestleMania 21 for the first time. Um, there, there's there's whatever's been going on with him. He keeps saying about how there's like kind of personal things happening with him right now. Or personal and professional opportunities, and, and, and things are changing. He's, He's turning into saying. a transformer. He's tur- no, 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 no. Yeah. John Cena, roll it's out. It's Mirage because so, you can't see him. John Cena, <laughs> keep going, keep going. We're John, good. I don't. I'm trying to figure out how to state the question, and Bobby keeps throwing me off the rails. But I'm sorry. what no, I'm is sorry. next for John Cena? What do you yeah, think, you. John? <laughs> What do you think John Cena is going to do? What is the career change? Is he done-ish with WWE? Um, what is your uh, speculation? Wild speculation, if you'd like. If you raised, if Larry has raised his hand. I think. Well, I don't he, know when's the last time where somebody raised their hand for an answer on this show. I have a question, Mark. Oh, you have a question? Or no, no, no. I, ha- I have a, you have an uh, answer. An answer. Answer to the question. Yes, okay. That. I think John Cena is going to be the next general manager of NXT. What? That's out of well, nowhere. Yeah. I mean, well, there's your wild look, speculation. Look, look at look at your general managers you got for SmackDown and Raw already. You got Daniel Bryan and Kurt Angle. Mm-hmm. They're not going anywhere. They're good general managers right where they're at. Who needs a new general manager? NXT. Or, or what about William Regal? That's true. Maybe he's looking to do something else. Who knows? He might be the commissioner. He's going to be in Transformers. <laughs> he could be a Transformer. <laughs> No, 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 no. Last time we put it, last time we put an English guy in Transformers, it did not work out. He's well. transformed before. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, that was bad. I should put Aiden English in Transformers. Or <laughs> I just want to add Aiden English to things. Go ahead. Or oh, I'm sorry. or <laughs> or you sorry. could have um, him be the general manager of Two Hundred Five Live, <laughs> which needs an authority <laughs> figure. They have no what authority the figure. So it's chaos you asked there. for wild speculation. Chaos. John Cena, we got the perfect and project he, for you. Larry's to delivering. Apply live of general wow. manager. Drop well, the dimes. That is an answer. If he came um, back as a general manager, say six months from now, when he the next time he's on TV, I would pay to see that show. There you go. Nine ninety nine. And that is the answer to my big question. He might. Okay. Pay your um, big question. Producer Missy, you you have you have an answer. Oh, like yes. Yeah, you you forget that I have a button over here now. Yeah. Um, we had this discussion a little bit earlier. John Cena is suffering from Stockholm syndrome. He is being taken captive mm-hmm. by Nikki Bella. Couple of twins, and that's why he's so emotional about it. Yes. Couple of twins. <laughs> so he Easy he cake. is slowly being trained to stay in the kitchen he's being domesticated he proposed the man who said that he would never get married again proposed 
Yeah, but he could have had really bad writers for that. Total Bellas. I don't know. That. He's a robot on Total Bellas. No, this, this is what I'm saying is they have completely like written him in that now he believes that this is his life. So it's like the Truman Show. Stockholm Syndrome. It's Stockholm Syndrome. When you, when you become a captive and then you like wind up falling in love with your captor because... And Cena always puts 100, 110% into whatever he's doing. Yes. So he just feels now that he has to put 110% into this. But now he's starting to buy into the fact that he's put 110% in, that this is now his life. What have I done? This is my life now. Yeah. Yep. Which leads, me to, which leads to my answer. I think he has some... Wait. Hold on. I think I, I think that I think that he has some opportunities <laughs> to uh sell knives on QVC oh, late what? night. Um how you doing? Those, those big fifty two fifty two piece knife sets. How you doing? Those big ones, how you doing? <laughs> Sharp knife, how you doing? You can't see this, how you how you doing? I'm cutting these prices, you can't see it, how you doing? I think yeah, this one has a wooden handle. Great camouflage. How you doing? Thirteen inch, thirteen inch plate. How you doing? Uh, yeah, I think he's. I mean, the opportunities are there. He can sell. The man can sell. What Look are at the, all his merchandise. What are those videos of uh, people <laughs> opening oysters all the time? What? Shuckers. Oh my gosh, those are so know. annoying. He could do I that. Seen. I could see him do that. It, I they're, mean, they're basically live would, streaming themselves would opening you oysters buy, and showing all the pearls that they're getting. Would you buy a sham wow if Cena sold it to you? Look at this mess. I bought now, a sham. I bought a sham wow when now you can't see Vince it. sold it. How you doing? You can't see this. This sham wow. Now you, you see me. Oxyclean. How you doing? <laughs> see this stain? Now John you can't Cena. see it. Oxyclean. How you doing? Oxyclean. I miss. I miss. I'm really here with me. John Cena. How you doing? Okay, Sorg. I I've I've got to go to the chat room already. All right, please. Um, Tina says that he's. He'll have a coach actor type role similar to what Shawn Michaels does. Alex Miller says he goes back as a rapper. And Brandon, this is this is the comment that just completely just uh, this is why I, I interrupted over here. Brandon says he's going to be the babysitter for baby Birdie. <laughs> he's going to be the nanny. Yes, and they're going to make oh, they're going geez. to spin off oh a gosh, new they're gonna remake Hulk Hogan's Mr. Nanny. Yes. <laughs> Suburban Commando. With John Cena. Yes. <laughs> Suburban Commando. I would Commando. love to see. I would love to see this like just phase with John Cena where he just just remake Undertaker's going to reprise his role as the alien. We just remake No Holds Barred and Suburban Commando. And Suburban Commando. Suburban, by the way, I love Suburban Commando. Who I need to get a copy this of that. This is John Cena's life now. Yeah. John, yeah. maybe John Cena is following in the steps of Hulk Hogan. Oh boy! And now, let's, let's... and now he has poured 110 percent into that life now because he doesn't want to end up like Hulk <laughs> so Hogan. He, he, so he, he's got to cut the wrestling back because he, he saw what happened mm-hmm. and he doesn't want to. He well, doesn't no, wanna, if that is the case, he that. wouldn't be doing the reality show and he wouldn't be getting married. Well, maybe, but he's not wrestling, so maybe because that didn't end well for Hogan. Hulk, was, <laughs> Hulk Hogan was doing both at the same time. That's true. So maybe maybe Cena's like, I, I'm just gonna do this, see what happens, and then come back to us. Like, I go all in. I think all in. I didn't doing? answer yet. I know, I know, Bobby. I know it's okay. your turn. Um, I th- I think he's gonna travel around, um, like Bruce Banner with a knapsack, and the sad, incredible Hulk music's gonna play behind him as he walks from town to town because people can't see him. Mm-hmm. He's just gonna be invisible. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. He's so so sad. Oh, We're gonna have sad Cena, and yeah. he's gonna come back uh, part as a part timer and fight every once in a while like The Rock. He's gonna Plus be on Lucha Underground. Tran- he's, he's got that uh, Transformers movie. As long as he doesn't um, show up as um, does Michael Mr. Bay America. think that Bumblebee? Oh, no, he's gonna have a hood. <laughs> <laughs> he'll have he'll have a hood. The- does, does Michael Bay think Bumblebee is the leader of Transformers? How in the hell does he get his own movie? Because he's a, he's a special agent. He's not Optimus Prime. Didn't you see the last Transformers movie? No. Well, then you wouldn't understand. There was a small tidbit I, of I information. I saw the last Transformers there's, movie. There's was... a small tidbit of information for the Bumblebee movie in there. Why? He was, a, he was undercover for World War II. 
Yeah, he was. Yeah, apparently. What? Yeah. They had, they yeah, had yeah, Camaros they in World War Two. What? They did. No, well, no, he's a he's a different vehicle. I don't know. What did you think of what? Transformers Five? It it was very drawn out and it long. Was rough. It was rough. It was rough. Well, I don't. But I don't things just kind of happen. The action, the action, and the special effects were top notch. Yeah, as usual. But it just, I didn't care but at that point. Boy, I really, I didn't really care at that point. Boy, it just fell off. It just fell off. I've tried. But so hard. I actually did like the Bumblebee thing. They're like, oh, here's this whole picture. And I was like, oh, there's My- the Bumblebee movie. Yeah. You know like, where they got should, that from? Should I try Captain it? America? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Were there were there any answers? Also, Wonder, Wonder Woman. Should, should I try watching Transformers again? I don't think, think so. Give it a shot. No? Segway. Segway. No, Segway. Michael Bay is the devil. No. Okay. What if Michael Bay is the devil? What if Michael Bay did WrestleMania? Well, they'd have to get it would a just be straight pyro, pyro budget again. Yeah, but you think yeah. Yeah, your pyro budget? <laughs> well, that's to show that they spend the all the oh, Kevin pyro Hart. Hey, everybody Kevin forgets. Hart is, Kevin Hart is Zeus. Everybody forgets Michael Bay made The Rock. Okay. Yes, he did, and that's a grand. Yeah, movie. that was the only good contribution he had to cinema. Michael Bay didn't make he the, also rock. Direct, the Rock. Made the Rock. He also directed The Rock in that other movie. I forget the name of it right now with Mark Wahlberg. The Rundown? No. Oh, I know what you're talking about. No. The, with The Rock and, and Mark Wahlberg? The Rock Wahlberg. and Wahlberg. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was good. That and was it was really good, too. Good. Yeah. I didn't see that one. The so one about the, like, the, the guys that were like weightlifters, and they, they ended up being, like, what, drug runners or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Two yeah. words. Good. Pearl Harbor. Well, <laughs> No. Two words. Michael Bay's Transformers two. Michael Bay's two, small movies are actually three, really good. Mm-hmm. It's it's when he gets too much money. When you had too much access, a little off the rails. When nobody when nobody asked Michael Bay questions, why did this become a movie podcast? Yeah. Uh, my obsession. Well, it was wrestling related because it was. It, he directed The Rock, and then he yeah. directed. Then he actually directed. Nobody the can actor, see John Cena because mm. so. he's gonna be Mirage. Jeez. And C. And see how you doing. All right. Well, geez. I don't know what to go with the, to that. What did, what no, did you more learn? dancing, more dancing. Oh, I didn't answer. I want to go with the whole Hulk Hogan uh, uh, recreation kind of idea myself. No, but really, though, I think um, there was definitely a last match vibe for me during that. So I think we I don't, don't think it was his last match. Not well, his last match, but it's still a. Um, He's gonna come back for a rock re, uh, run, title run. Five <laughs> you, years. You think so? Thrice in yeah. a lifetime. It would yeah. be his seventeenth if he did. Yep. Mm. Which would break the record. <laughs> yes. I maybe I mean maybe He's that's gonna be it. Kane's running like, there, like I mean, there's there's got to be a thinking of like well do we do this does he beat the record is it too crazy if he does who does he beat to break the record I don't know uh, Finn Balor Brutus the Barber Beefcake what how you doing I don't know he beats <laughs> he beats of course the greatest <laughs> cruiserweight champion known to man right now Neville. John, no. Cena, John Cena loses all his muscle mass and goes on 205 Live. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. He becomes no. general. How are you doing? He becomes general manager. I mean, a certified G. Like destroying everyone. Against, a bonafide stud. Yeah, bona fide stud against uh, the master of thugonomics. Who, who doesn't want? Uh, who doesn't want the, 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 the there just to be a G spinner belt? When he represents, oh, that, I have right? no doubt it's coming. Yeah, uh, when, yeah. When he if that said show that, had I was a little like, high, like, this belt off a few him. more rating spikes, like throughout the year, I bet mm-hmm. they could afford that. Spin I don't know. That that frame shirt was it left a lot to be desired. Hmm? <laughs> that frame shirt of uh, Enzo. That was <laughs> yeah. Bad. What was that about? Was uh, that? It was bad. He was retiring but, his jersey. But then I guess it plays into the fact that he had to get this stuff real quick. Mm-hmm. But he still, was dressed as oh. Beetlejuice. That yeah. shirt was striped. And someone said his name three times, and he came out and he won the title. How you doing? No, I wanted, I wanted somebody else. I wanted somebody else to say his name three times so he would go away from wrestling. <laughs> Just take him away. Oh, Cow gone. My name take is Lydia, him. and boy, do I love this man of mine. <laughs> That's a line from Beetlejuice. There's, there's no place like Nitro. There's no place like Nitro. There's no place like Nitro. <laughs> Oh jeez! And you get transported back to All 1998. Right. Click your wrestling guys, boots together, guys. What did you learn from wrestling this week in chat room two? Dancing. I think you know what I learned. <laughs> you learned how to dance. I learned it. <laughs> I thought I learned that Enzo could Enzo could be used effectively. Mm-hmm. Not saying you have to like it, 
but he can be used effectively. You don't have to like it, but learn to love it. To better the show and mm-hmm. to better the product. Mm-hmm. I like him as kind of a dick. When he told Angle, Angle was like, you want some advice? Nah, I'm good. Cool. I like that. Uh, update. Uh, Wheels is saying Terry Crews as Zeus would be even better. <laughs> yes. That would be good. Or Big E. Who plays Sherry and Macho Man and No Holds Barred the match? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Where do you go with that? John Cena and Nikki Bella. Dolph Ziggler. Ellsworth and uh, Carmella. <laughs> Car- Ellsworth, Ellsworth had a Ellsworth. leash tonight. Which, which one's Macho Man? Um, well, not Ellsworth. <laughs> we just ju- we just swapped that. Just go ahead and swap that. <laughs> Larry, what'd you learn? I learned Cesaro's a tough son of a bitch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The end. The end. Nothing. Nothing more needs to be said at nope. that point, right? Uh, uh, producer Missy, did you learn anything in wrestling this week? Yes. You know, I think I learned that I hate Enzo's hair more than I hate him. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Is it because you find pieces Cup of his of hair? Haters, we Cup find, of haters. We find more Enzo hair in that couch than the dog. Yes. Or... Yes, yes. Sounds like you need to get another one. <laughs> another another dog? dog? No, another Enzo hair. You realize you that doing? we're going to be make you wear it then. Why nope. don't you just wear the dog on your head? Because you left him at home. Well, we could change. Wearable it. dogs. You bring him and I will. Wow. Wow. Next, week, next week I'll wear a uh, leopard print and some attire. How you doing? Dress as Beetlejuice for next week. I, I don't have any black and white striped gear. Sorg, what did you learn? Uh, <laughs> it's Halloween. I learned. I want to know what Bobby learned. Oh, um, I learned that Nia Jax is a badass. Mm-hmm. I would not want to mess with her because she like dominated that match the other night. And every match on that pay per view is really good. Um, until we got to the end zone Neville match. And then it was great. I thought that doing? was amazing. It was, it, was a, it was a really good pay-per-view. I yeah. just, no complaints. I just learned that Bobby has a crush on Nia Jax because this mm-hmm. seems to be his his trend. Mm-hmm. Is scary women that could totally kick his ass. Women women that can kick my ass. I'm in love with them. Mm-hmm. And happy birthday, Asuka, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking lady. of ass kickers. Yeah, yeah. Asuka, 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 Asuka oh, yes. coming up here at uh, TLC, too. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. That's, that's, that's her long. debut. Their She's debut gonna is challenge TLC. Brock Lesnar for the uh, universe title. <laughs> <laughs> Be a triple and threat. She'll win. Triple threat. And she'll yeah. win. Those two. Mm-hmm. Oh, jeez. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, I learned that I'm going to miss John Cena. You guys. Yeah. In the long run, I'm going to miss John Cena. We still have Enzo. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> From the chat, Alex learned that Dario is the best general manager promoter in the world. Oh, absolutely. Uh, also, uh, Brandon learned that Michael Cole doesn't like it when Corey Graves talks because of because of because of he looks at him the way he looks at him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Um, also, like uh, Booker almost uh, drug them into a political discussion in the middle of a, a match, I think. Oh, so, yeah. Booker dropped yeah. silent. Was Vince McMahon yelling at Booker after that? It had to have been. What, Booker what, dropped some real when commentary weird goes stuff silent, during matches. What did, he, what did he say? I, I caught the aftermath. It was like, well, we're not talking about politics here, buddy. You know, did, he, did, did, you guys, did you guys know that? When commentary freezes and they don't say anything, Vince McMahon is yelling at Booker T. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing cleanup right now well, yeah. he said something i forget what he talked he talked about uh one time he said uh maybe it wasn't the it wasn't the politics one but he said uh about uh jason jordan is you have to you have to work and you can't just be out there looking to fit all your stuff in you have to pay your dues and work wait, the wait, match. Wait, so did he? And I went, "What the hell did he just did say?" Did Booker like like forget he wasn't at his own promotion <laughs> teaching the kids? Because so. he said it's not all about getting in the ring and getting your stuff in. Yeah, you have to yeah. work good with the other like, person. This is like this is a conversation he just had over the weekend with his class. And then Corey well, said, "I Corey like dismissed it real quick and like tried to squash it." And Michael Cole said something. I'm like, "Yeah, you probably shouldn't say that over the air." About there were how two they should inst- get their spots in. 
<laughs> What's that, Bobby? There, there were two instances that I remember when, when the, the commentary went silent. One was him saying he's such a good worker in the ring, and there was nothing. <laughs> and then Michael Cole like, immediately changed the subject. And then the other time was when he's like, when Braun was doing something, he's like, who's going to stop him? Who's going to stop him? Who's going to stop him? And then like, like, there was silence. <laughs> and then Michael Cole, Michael Cole just said, no one's going to stop him, Booker. <laughs> that was it. Well, I do, I do before you sign off your Sorg, I do have another uh, comment on the Twitter feed. Uh, Greg DeMarco learned that Enzo Amore is a big enough draw to save an entire program. Oh, which kind of goes back to what Chad was saying. Well, there you go. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? Hey, we're gonna change the name to Two Hundred Five Lives. <laughs> it's the Edzo Show. Is that what he was calling it last night? Mm. The Zo Show. The Zo Show. The Zoe See Zoe you show. tomorrow night on the Zo Show. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? Oh, uh, he's gonna have a dance off with a witch swan. You watch. It's which, coming. Which swan? It's coming. Yeah. Rich swan. Which one? Rich which swan. Which, 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 which swan? Which swan? Um, Going back to the duck that's for sale on Facebook. <laughs> and we've come full yeah. circle. Has, has she checked back in with you on that? No, no. Oh, no. Oh, don't leave her. Do no, no, get her hopes up. She's like, I am not spending $60 on a duck. I might buy my duck. You know, as somebody <laughs> who sold, sold things on those kinds of sites. Don't leave That's them fantastic. hanging. They will. They might put so a hex on you. My damn kid got a hold of this phone. I'm blocking Man, her. I'm sorry. You're blocking her. <laughs> you messaged her originally. I did you not You have to. to fix this. You I are will. morally like, obligated. Yeah. You swiped right. <laughs> you swiped right on the duck, you. sir. You have to correct this. You're angering your producer. Larry. I don't know if that's Larry, anger. Have you ever seen what are you doing? <laughs> Larry. Yeah. Have you ever seen the movie Rat Race? I have. You should have bought a squirrel. <laughs> I was looking for a squirrel. I thought somebody was selling one. It wasn't. It was just a photo for a yard sale. Jeez. That's like the best thing ever. You should have bought a squirrel, lady. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, All right. Also, Brandon learned uh, Woken Matt Hardy is about to happen. Mm, I hope so. Oh yes. Oh, Jeff, yes. Jeff was doing the leads ringside last night. Uh, <laughs> they cut to him. He was like. Delete, delete, delete. We don't care anymore. We're Wait, doing this. You, you, yeah. mean, you mean Jeff who's out for surgery? Yeah. No, Jeff Jarrett. Jeff Jarrett. <laughs> he was in the Jeff crowd. Jeff Jarrett just... was ringside. He's still drunk, <laughs> handing, out, handing out tortillas to the kids. Um, anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining us. WrestlingMayhemShow.com. We're here live every Tuesday live at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. You can become part of this mayhem and this celebration of pro wrestling we do every Tuesday night. Zo thank show. you so much for uh, Enzo the Shad. Dancing through the night, Larry, Bobby F. J. Town, producer Missy, and the amazing chat room, including Brandon Wheels, Tom, Alex, Tina, and so many more in this cast of tens and hundreds. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.